Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Sunday, the 25th of December, 2022. It's Christmas Day, and we at Illuminati Silver wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas, and of course, a happy and prosperous 2023. Now, this video is a repeat of the update video we produced yesterday where we saw that last week, gold and silver actually held firm. Will the price continue to hold at its current level to the end of the year? Well, let's take a look. Gold rose $6 last week, rising from $1,793 to $1,799, just shy of that $1,800 level. Though during the week it did hit a high of $1,824 and a low of $1,784, so a rise of just 0.3%. In sterling terms, it finished the week at £1,492, that's up £16. And in euros, it closed at 1,694 euros. That's up just one euro. Silver rose 53 cents, rising from 23.23 to 23 dollars 76, having been as high as 24.32 and a low of 22 dollars 85. So it actually rose 2.3 percent. In sterling terms, it closed at 19 pounds and 71 pence. That's up 58 pence on the week. And in euros, it closed at 22.37 euros. That's up almost half a euro, 0.43 of a euro. The gold to silver ratio fell from 77.1 to 1 to 75.7 to 1. And we've noticed these last few weeks, this silver ratio sort of meandering between 72, 73 and 78. Now the difference between gold's high and low was $38 and the difference between silver's high and low was $1.47, both slightly lower than the previous week. Now we did predict last week we expect to see gold trade between 1725 and 1825 and silver between 2250 and 2450 and this is where they did actually trade during the course of the week. Now, looking at other financials, we can see that Bitcoin stands at $16,843. That's up $109. Equities were slightly mixed with the Dow Jones up 283 points at 33,203. The S&P down 8 points at 3,844. And the Nasdaq Composite down 208 points at 10,497. Now, oils, unfortunately, were higher this past week, and there are talks that we could see oils moving back into $100 territory. Brent crude closed at $83.92. That's up $4.88. And WTI crude closed at $79.56 a barrel, and that's up $5.27 on the week. The dollar index stands at 104.31, and that's down 0.39 points. Now, the market data announced last week of any note was a strong consumer confidence index for December coming in at 108.3 compared with 101.4 in November. But most noteworthy of all was the PCE price index for November coming in at 0.1% compared with 0.4% the previous month and the core CPE for November being 0.2% compared with 0.3% the previous month. These rising interest rates may be having an effect after all. So this brings down the annual rate for PCE from 6.1% to 5.5 and core PCE from 5% to 4.7. Still much higher than the ultimate 2% target, but appears to be moving in the right direction. But if we see oil prices rising above 100, this could change again. Now, because of the Christmas holidays and run-up to the new year, there is very little data being announced of any particular noteworthiness. Now, as we mentioned last week, precious metal prices normally, not always, but normally, firm up a little towards the end of the year, 
and into the new year. That said, we have to bear in mind that trade is slim and therefore price movements exaggerated. Gold seems to be comfortable, close to the $1,800 level right now, and we cannot see any movement beyond $50 of that in either direction until we resume in 2023. So our prediction for gold until the end of the year is a trading range between 1750 and 1850, with it hovering around that 1800 level most of the time. There is an outlier range of 1725 to 1875, though we do not expect gold to enter into that arena. Silver performed more strongly last week and is seeming to gravitate towards the $24 level. We predicted almost a month ago that silver could touch $25 in December as an ultimate, though close to the $24 level was where it was most likely to rest, or somewhere between $23 and $24. Now, there is an interest and a growing interest at the moment in silver, though a strong dollar and the threat of a recession in 2023 works against it. So until the end of 2022, we see silver oscillating between $22.75 and $24.50, with $22 and $25 as outliers. Possibilities, but not likely. Please, though, bear in mind that with liquidity short, the slightest investment or disinvestment can disproportionately move prices. But those movements are likely to be short-lived. Now, before we go, we must urge you, please, to ensure you've subscribed to the channel and press the bell sign, because between Christmas and the New Year, we shall be making a number of important announcements, particularly with regard to any changes we're going to make to the Illuminati Silver Channel. We've listened to what our subscribers and supporters have had to say. We are very confident that next year is going to be an exciting year for our channel, but we're mindful of the fact that YouTube is reducing the ability for us to share the channel's content simply because of the channel name. So there are going to be some changes, so please watch out for those videos, more than likely to occur just after Boxing Day, but before the new year. Thank you for listening. Have a great holiday. Have a safe weekend. And here's to a most prosperous 2023 for us all. Illuminati silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.